Lord Egerton Castle is a splendid architectural masterpiece Egerton built between 1930 and 1940 and still stands conspicuously like a pendant in the beautiful countryside which is 12 kilometers from Nakuru town. It has expansive green lawns and a splendid colorful garden on its sides. Since arriving in Kenya in 1927, Egerton had lived in a six-bedroomed house next to the castle. Built for a lady whom Baron Egerton wished to become engaged, the house is something of an anachronism. for the first time in that second house. Mm -hmm. But since the lady was a princess, I'll reject you because of the class difference. So the lady I want to compare the six-roomed house to a dog's kennel. Joliana has a little bit parlor, so she went back. So I'm going to come up with import materials now to come up with this house. So I can import materials from Britain, Italy, and Okupia Okupando Africa, and Pia Kapata Manpower from the same same Britons, uh, Italians, and Pia Africans. So this is like a journal from 1938 up to 1954. Well, to me, I'm going to come in a set of cook and leisure in India. I'm going to try to go to transportation. So by that time, transport is too slow. I love being in the world too. So when you go to the same place, you can go to the same place. You can go to the same place. So you can go to the same place. But in 1954, I'm going to come in a set of cook and leisure in India. I'm going to go to the same place. I'm going to go to the same place. So I'm going to go to the same place. So I'm going to go to the same place. I'm going to go to the same place. When she came, Alkuja Akaipata, but she wasn't impressed. So to the lady in Kama Hinumba, I go in a meeting standard in the quarter of year. So Akasima Morris Katona has graduated, Ama Ametoka, so from the dog's kennel, the previous house, now into a process stable, upper building to go. Then she went back. So in the early disappointment, I'm a frustration. You're going to find a boy, Morris Gatton, and declare this house and the compound even a no-go zone for women, like on the early issue, Bilakua. So he never married, and he said, I love so hapa alikaga for four years, yu 1954, wakati alikamilisha kujenga, to 1958, wakati alikufa. So hiyo mdwe miyakane ya koga miyamotu do a whole marriage life, alikuwa nendelea na family. So hiyo kumepata already 1939, ameteniza Egerton Farm School, now the current Egerton University, penye kwa trade cycle as mwenye ya family. Walafi haka develop industries within a crew town, like kuna na crew towners, kuna na crew blankets, so isn't some of the properties it was not keep busy. Akiwa hapa haka employ African workers na ni men only. So hawa nomo nakao pangwa yumo kwa staff quarters, hapa dani nakapeke yake. 
So akikufa hiyo 1958 ilikuwa ni 30th January. So by that time I kwa the last person I'm the only person surviving kwa hiyo Ikatons lineage. So wakati alikufa they became extinct. So Alicia they no longer exist. Alafu akazikwa na ku town kwa cemetery. So hapo ndo penye kaburi yake iko na ku not cemetery. So courses of his death they go to natural courses come up old age you are saying 1874 and 1958 so I'm about 84 years when he died a lot of depression a very frustration from the fiance a lot of pain she left kifua so that is just a brief summary kuhusu huyu mtu so zinene tunapokea tukitembea pamoja hapa ndani okay yeah so tukianzia hapa so generally the house has about 52 rooms that is if you count the doors so can a door by door is of 52 doors is that represent the 52 rooms so ni milango kama hii ya kuingia hapa alafu na kama hii ya kwenda washroom so the washroom the bathrooms the corridors pia iko included kwa hizo 52 rooms yeah so hii ilikuwa ni guest room alafu later ikawa converted to be his bedroom ju yake ilikuwa huko ju ni wakati alianza kuzeka cause is growing weak ilikuwa ni kwa video of stairs akaletwa hapa where he died alafu ya family so ilikuwa na kahivi ilikuwa na pango the way the title was growing the lineage mpaka vile alipata so wa kwanza ilikuwa ni babu yake wa William Tatton Egerton then wa pili his uncle Lord Abraham Egerton then wa tatu ni baba yake Lord Alan Tatton alafu Boris Egerton sasa ndo mwenye hapa so he was the fourth and the last due to cause of the complete ndo wakaisha 1958 when he died So that was the uncle Wilbraham Egerton then baba yake ndo huyo Alan Tatton alafu mama yake anafuata Anna Taylor and she was a photographer in the garden alafu hizo picha mbili zinafuata ni Morris Egerton mwenye hapa alafu hizo tatu za mwisho zinaoga na take while traveling around Africa mm-hmm. so hiyo picha hapo chini inaonyesha alikuwa one of the first time uh, first pioneer theater so called Britain wale watu wenye flying ndege na pia aka own ndege na akawa na connection na kina Wright brothers ambao wali invent na akafanya kazi pamoja na pia then radios for communication so hizo kwa kutumia kuwasiliana nazo radios but as in mbali iko to just within if I'm yake mm-hmm. alafu ni kwa kutengeza bata so nika cream na maziwa tunatengeza bata alafu ni ya carbonated water from so the water So the bed was for the guest. Ndio ile kwa mgeni, alafu hapo kuna dressing table. <laughs> Then next hapa, ilikuwa ni suitcase. So can you make on hangers? We can draw us up to una park. Hello for travel now. So collection zake za hapa zinakaa hivi, ndio hiyo za hanta. So una trophies ambazo kwa kuna pair of hunting animal heads zingine na kausha hivyo zinaenda for exhibition kwa kwa So the last big photo that is the Ikatons home in England so huko ndo alitoka kwa kuna kaibo So it is bigger than this it's like three times bigger kuliko hii but pia ni open to public ni kama museum sasa if I Sure to impress her, Lord Egerton constructed the castle on a scale that will surely impress her and make her change her mind. He conceived of a castle that will have no comparison in England or any other country for that matter. Well chopped stones and zinc tiles for the roof were shipped from Europe and builders from Europe and Asia. The outcome in 1938 was a stupendous four-story edifice fitted with some of the most up-to-date mechanical and electrical gadgets at that time. However, even after building the majestic castle, she still rejects him in the presence of his friends. As it happened, not once but twice, and Egerton's heart was broken. This leads to Egerton changing and dedicating his life to farming, hunting, and development of education. This gives birth to Egerton University, founded on the basis of agriculture, but which has transformed into a diverse institution offering many courses apart from agriculture. Because my family here, but but this is the main only. Due to frustration, due to lack of time for women, so parties for men only. 
As if that was not enough, he banned women from ever setting foot in the 100-acre ground in which the castle stood and spent the rest of his life alone until his death on January 30, 1958. He pinned notices on trees warning that grounds were out of bounds for women and that any woman who disobeyed the notice risked being shot. When he planned to visit the quarters where his African staff lived, he would issue a two-week notice so that all women Will be vacated. The woman associated with Baron's irrational behavior has never been named in all accounts about his life. It is rather ironic that numerous weddings are now hosted on the castle, a favorite attraction for lovers taking the note and also a picnic site. If you love this video, please give this video a thumbs up, give it a share, give it a like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Until next time, this has been The L Way. Bye. It is rather ironic that numerous weddings are now hosted on the castle and now and also uh, uh, the last baron of Egerton of Tarton uh, of Lord Egerton Maurice Tarton. Uh, this is the story